Hello, thank you for listening to the Skate Flay Podcast. This is episode 148. I am Grant Fierro here with Mike Medina. And we're going to run through what, what went down this week, which yesterday Vans released uh, their newest video, Spinning Away, introducing Tyson Peterson to the team. Full parts from Tyson, Kyle, Chima, and then a uh, team montage, which had a handful of Rowan clips in there. Um, Who was the winner? Winner of the whole video for me? I, dude, <laughs> I don't know. I know, I know. I guess. I'll Every choose. part in there was equally as heavy. Yeah, dude, I can't really choose one straight up. I agree. I don't know, sorry. I'm it's a lame answer. But. Because I've seen less footage of him. Yeah, but like, then at yeah. That, but then it's like I say that, and then I think Kyle, and I'm just like, yo, but Kyle Smith, grind. Yeah, but then what Chima the went fuck? in. She yeah, Chima's footage was amazing. Off, dude. That's one of my favorite skateboarders. And all three of those dudes are like up on that list, you know? So it's like, I, I like, don't know. That's yeah, a heavy like, edit, man. I really like Very Kyle. Heavy edit. I really like how you can tell Kyle's so hyped when he rolls away from tricks. <laughs> like, I love all that. of his parts, he's always so. I think like, we've talked about that before. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we've talked about that before. I think when he does shit. the most insane, he's Smith grinding the longest reel ever, and he's practically sitting down. And then he rolls away. He's like, oh, he's like so hyped. Dude, sick. the way that he sits on that particular, like, grind or that particular trick in that particular part is like, he's straight I don't up think I've ever seen some shit out. like that. Like, if somehow, yeah, like, if somehow he slipped out of it into lip slide, like, he would have just flowed. Yeah. Like, flown back like dude, he changes his center of gravity like six different times. Oh, speaking of that, his 50 at the end, I think it's his end, right? Yeah. That really long 50. Yeah, yeah. He's like, it didn't look like there was one second on that whole grind that he was comfortable like, the whole time. Uh -uh. He was like pinched on it, but like waving all crazy. And then he like went heel side at the end and it was sick. Like he just I don't powered through it. And that guy. He's like a freak of nature to be yeah, that little so and be able to skate the biggest shit ever. Like the fact that he even steps to these rails that are enormous to like large size men. Yeah, it's insane to me. Short. He's a little dude, man. Kyle Walker is not a big guy at all. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. That edit is fucked. That was definitely exactly what I wanted from Tyson Peterson this whole time. Like, I feel like it, until now, we had just gotten small little doses of him um, with the with the most footage being in that uh, Am Scramble video. Yeah, well, he had that. He had a um, Next New Wave part. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I meant kinda like as he came up and then yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. put him on, and then it's just been like I was, stuff. I know I was gonna I was gonna reference the next new wave video, but I mean like since then I feel like se we've only gotten little doses of him, and I feel like that's the video yeah. that put him on. And typically with the rest of those guys, especially in that group of next new wave, all those dudes have already like been put pro if I'm not mistaken. A lot of them. No, yeah. I mean almost everyone. Not in all, but majority of but them. new wave. All of those scramblers, right? Uh, everyone except Tyson, is that it now? I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, Winkowski like, I remember has a board. Winkowski, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to think of like, the, the, the people that might be sleepers in that dude, group. Tyson's a real good big spinner, dude. Dude, that his, big, the way that he does her switch her front big, is insane. His regular, he does, I think it's a 5 down a rail, lands real quick, and the front big's a set. It's so yeah. amazing. I don't know. I definitely feel like this is one of those must those – it was like a must-watch video this week. Oh, yeah. You can't miss that. Yeah, I couldn't miss it. I It was yeah. like – I'm I'm really enjoying these like really done well, like 20 to 30-minute long edits. I think it's the best to, thing like, to do. I agree because it almost – like, okay, say like my attention span is shitty – I can always split it up. Yeah, I think it's the best thing to do for – I mean, even from a brand's perspective, if – I mean, a full-length video ends up taking mm -hmm. so much time and dudes mm -hmm. get hurt and it takes longer and longer, like, just get three, right. two to three dudes, film apart, everyone else, three clips for the montage. Now you have a 20-minute video. I, mean, I think this that is we've seen advanced. brands have success with it too, like Adidas, I know has done it. Um, does the Lux does it often. Yeah, like um, all the Spitfire ones, and then they'll do surveillance. Yeah, so they yeah. have like a couple parts. Right. I'm trying to the, think I think the best thing to do. done it. Like small little, like almost like mid full length, you know? Yeah, it's like, yeah, just toss a it's few not, dudes. I, I don't want to say it's an edit because it's fucking 30 minutes long, but at the same time, it's not a full length, you know? Yeah. No, I think it's the best thing to do. I agree, especially. With the way people kind of like want footage to come out consistently. You don't want to like just not put I stuff agree. out for and so I think long, that it. But, 
I think that it caters to both sides of the spectrum too. It caters to the person that does like the internet quick footage because you can always watch your guys' part and then click X. Yeah. But it also caters to the people that do prefer um, a compilation of footage to. Yeah, it's like a middle ground. I agree. It's a middle ground. That's like the best way to describe it. And I think that it's it's really easy way to do things too. You know what I mean? Yeah. I th yeah. I just and think it's all like, around it's the best because I think um, sometimes uh, full lengths. Brands don't want it to get super drawn out, so they'll end up, you know, finishing it, putting it out. But then I'll see there'll be certain dudes in it that it's like, well, that kind of sucks. Like this guy was hurt, and he only has like a minute of footage now. And I get they have to put right. it out, but like, I would have rather just see stuff like this—a twenty-minute edit. And so there's not as much pressure, and if someone's hurt, whatever, they can get tossed in the next. Do edit. you like the? Do you like the format of having individual parts, or do you like the format of the montage? Um, I like exactly how this Vans one's done. A couple, yeah, a couple I agree. video parts, one dude that has three to five minutes of footage, and then everyone really else like toss them in a montage, whatever. It, it was I perfect. really liked that a lot. Yeah, I think yeah was this perfect. was really easy to watch for me. Yeah, it was exactly like no other way. Yeah, you're right. But Kyle yeah, happened right. to be involved. <laughs> Which is <laughs> fucking kill it involved. Yeah, he, he went in. Um, Rowan's footage was amazing in this. Oh, dude, I think a lot I of people really, were hyped really on this shit. I can't even comprehend the fact that he fake flipped down that set with his super broken board. And that yeah. crazy Wally lip slide around that like U-turn ledge was <laughs> so sick. Yeah, a lot of the comments are stoked on Rowan's footage for sure. Yeah, Rowan, Rowan's one of the sickest to watch. Where he's tight. Yeah, well, speaking of bands... Uh, Jerry Sue was seen oh, this past week wearing some old quite school. Quite interesting. Yeah, it was a little bit surprising. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of came out. I mean, yeah, it was a surprise. We've seen a lot of a handful of dudes leaving America recently. Um, with obviously Cater, then we saw uh, Herman's gone. He actually made that official announcement of like a week and a half ago or something. We chatted about that. I feel like. Go ahead. Yeah, and I feel like the people that are like leaving or like the people that we are kind of seeing noticeably like kind of part ways with the band are people that have been there for quite some time. I mean, definitely um, excluding just Cater. Herman and yeah, Herman and Jerry alone. Like those like yeah. like when you think of America, those are two dudes that you would think of. They've been there forever. Yeah. Killed it in their video. Yeah, and I mean my oh, mic just dropped out of here. Hopefully he'll be back momentarily. Um, I was going to take a look right now just at the American site to see if Sue is still – yeah, he's not on the team page anymore. And there was a photo of him and Cater. I was on Daniel Wheatley's Instagram story, um, and Jerry had fans on as well, which I think would completely make sense for him to skate for fans. If it, I mean, if he's not on America anymore, fans. Yeah, do you think that they're going to offer him, like, a spot on the team, though, or you think that they're just hooking him up with shoes? Um, I could kind of see it go either way. Same. He is also on the elder end, though. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. He's a little bit older Especially now. with Vans kind of being like a young, marketable team right now, especially with the introduction of Tyson. Very, What's Tyson, very like 20? Yeah. Yeah, he um, looks like a baby. Yeah, and their team's big. Huge. Um, <laughs> big is an they, understatement. Yeah, yeah, I mean, at this point, every – out of the big five shoe brands, they all have huge teams, basically. But um, I don't know. Maybe yeah. I think it'd be kind of cool for them to put him on. But I wouldn't be shocked if he didn't get put on at the same time, I guess, just because of his age and how big their team is. But, yeah, we'll see over time really where yeah, that would be. Yeah, that would be my conclusion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, know, I think sci-fi fantasy is fucking sick. Yeah, that's rad. I'm excited to see I where agree. he goes I'm with definitely that. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to see more of that. That's for sure. I think uh, that's the name is sick. Just like the simplicity is sick. I don't know. I like it. I'm but once I it. saw him in Vans, I kind of thought back and correct me if I'm wrong. But when he was on the nightclub, did they even talk about America very much? I mean, I know they talked about I, like old trips and stuff. I genuinely don't remember. But I don't remember. They talked a lot about Osiris. About, yeah, they talked. They did talk a lot about Osiris. I don't really remember much America talk or like any talk of like what's going on with America now or like his shoe or you know anything like that. So it kind of when I saw him in bands, that was like something that popped in my mind. Like, oh, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Like, they weren't even really talking about it at that time. I think it was kind of funny that he was in like with Gator in the photo too. 
Yeah. <laughs> they literally <laughs> just left. <laughs> they, they both, both just left. left. Same shit. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. It's interesting to see. It is, for sure. We're going to have to see what the, what happens with America, man. That's very – I mean, obviously – Obviously, um, brands do this. We've not like we've seen this happen before, where they'll go in like a younger direction, and the older dudes will kind of you know part ways or get let go or whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever the case may be. But yeah, I think that for Herman and um, and Jerry, I think that yeah, they may be like older dudes in the game, but as far as like their skating, they're still very relevant. Like their skating is still sure. very high level skateboarding. Sure, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. So as well as know. one thing that I've kind of been thinking of with. Uh, Cater leaving, Herman leaving, Jerry leaving. Um, like I, I'm kind of just interested. Like, what what is Reynolds feeling about all this? And like, when his contract is up or whatever, like, what what's gonna happen to him? I mean, I feel like you have to think about it from this way, like in this perspective, right? He has quite literally been Cater's skate coach at this uh, up until this point, right? You can you can agree on that. Yeah, I mean, I don't I like the term that, skate coach, but yeah, he's like right. But that's, that's that's what I mean. That's he's like he's his yeah. his mentor is what I should say. Yeah, yeah. not skate coach. I like that. Okay, <laughs> I think that I think that for your mentor to give you a green light to do something, something along the lines of leaving a shoe brand or leaving this or leaving that, I think that he had to have greenlit that move, man. For him to be that involved with America over the years, for him to be that involved with Cater. Yeah, I think he had to have greenlit that move for sure. I mean, especially one thing that I noticed immediately the first time I saw Cater in Vans, first time I saw so him not wearing sense. Americas, was on Andrew Reynolds' story. Like, I, I yeah. think that was literally the first thing out on the Same. internet at all of him not wearing Americas. Yeah. And it was like Cater like messing around on a curb. Like, it was almost like a, like I took it like, like it was, was like an it informative thing. I feel like he's not wearing right. America. It's like I'm not saying that's for sure what was going through Reynolds' head, but it was just like it wasn't like that's it was how catered, you took it. like front fueling some rail. Like it was just him right. off on a curb. Like I don't even know if right. he did a trick. And I was like, wow, that kind of seemed like look at he's not wearing Americas anymore. Mm-hmm. Which is I mean, dude, let's not forget cool. that there were those heavy, heavy rumors that Reynolds was leaving too. Oh yeah, yeah, around the let's way. Let's not days. forget about that. And that was what. Two years ago, yeah, yeah, or yeah, I don't know. know. You're gonna have to I just think that it says a lot about the situation of a cater situation, not uh, not Jerry's. Mm -hmm. um, that Reynolds would allow that, <laughs> I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean cater, cater and Van. Cater's gonna do what boss man says. Let's let's fucking be honest. Yeah, but he also needs I mean, Cater's going to grow into his own Cater's, taste and decision. And Reynolds loves for his dudes to get money. Yeah, that's been loves clear. It. He Especially with Theotis. I always it. remember Theotis talking about that with Altima. Yeah, case in point. That's a great yeah, example. Reynolds, Reynolds, I mean, to explain, if anyone isn't familiar with this. They did talk about shit. it on the weekend buzz, I believe. Um, but Theotis pretty much says like, uh, Altamont was going to give him a signature, or his, his signature collect collection had just came out, and Nike offered him a bigger Club amount of money know. to skate for yeah. the Nike apparel thing, and he just kind of seemed like he wasn't sure what to do because he'd skated for Altamont for a while. They just gave him a clothing line, and Reynolds was like, "Dude, like, just get the money, like, skate for Nike, like, that's you deserve what, it." That's what I'm. That's what I'm sure. Exact same kind of shit happened with Cater. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, this week, <laughs> another pro skateboarder. We start the train back up. We've got to be pro every Oh, week this again. one is an interesting. This one's Trevor interesting, McClung. though. Announced yeah. pro the day of the Etnies album video. He premiere. stayed. He stayed. He, he weathered through the storm. Yeah, he stayed am for years and years and years. But now he he's got his name on his blog. Well well what was that? He watched a bunch of other dudes turn pro before. Yeah, him. he watched Joss and go pro. Uh, was he? He was Am and Felipe were pro, right? Yeah, and he um, watched them bring in Chris Cole. They watched the he watched Leticia. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shit, that's gnarly. That's gnarly. And he watched Scott Desenzo leave, go he pro did. somewhere else. Do you remember a, a so few you know months? I mean? It was only a few months ago. Trevor, I think. I mean, it was a big joke, but 
uh, posted that blank board. <laughs> blank <laughs> board, yeah. Was leaving, and then he was, you know, just getting yeah. like, and um, Daniel Espinosa's brand posted him on his story skating too, so it fucked with everybody even more. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Well, now he's got a board. Say? He's got the opening part in Eddie's album. I was able. To oh, I didn't know that. that. I was, yeah, that was yeah. one of my questions for you, Which actually. Part? For our, yeah. for our viewers that don't know, our own Grant Fierro was at the San Diego premiere. Yep, it was in Oceanside, San Diego Lake premiere. Brewing. Yeah. And oh, see, that's where I'm going to be, Oceanside. Yeah. We'll be out here soon. Damn, dude. Um, yeah, so it wasn't the the first world premiere they had in L.A., and then the one down here was at the next night or two nights later. Um, and a chunk of the, the team was down here. Best part, I would, I guess, in terms of, I don't know, how do you judge skating i guess best you would say it's, what do you awesome. mean how do you judge skating we do it all the time i know but like best and favorite <laughs> it's like it's just hard to think about i in no, terms of nice. gnarliness i'm giving it to chris jocelyn nice. as you'd expect because he's gnarly uh matt the fact Berger, that they threw I away mean, go ahead the fact that they threw away his front side flip for the, the like the, the teaser part, which it should be Right. I, I, I just think I, that's hilarious. It's insane that it's in the this, teaser, but I don't yeah. think I'm happy that they still put it in his part because there will be things that I that I see in teasers or like in an intro. It's like, dude, I don't think anyone will complain if they use it twice because people aren't never going to go back in a year and watch the teaser. They're going to watch the video part, so it needs to be in there, mm. and it is, which it should be. Um, Matt Berger did some mind-boggling tricks, as you would expect him to. There's a He's shootout so rail good. in Compton. Uh, off like a stretch three or something. It's a pretty low circle rail. goes down a little bit. Same rail. Thiago Lemos did a front feeble laser flip on it. Tori Pudwell, like three weeks ago, did the most insane splits. Feeble back on 80 on Instagram. Oh, um, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. He does a back lip, big flip out, which number one, I've never seen. Number two, it's on a circle rail, which is for a flip out trick like that, it'd definitely be easier on a square rail. And three, it was done absolutely perfect. Like that, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, he's the shit. And obviously, he goes crazy on hubs and handrails. Um, he's the so shit. I love that. Trevor has a lot of footage for his part. That was what I was going to say regarding his pro announcement. It's kind of wild that we got his pro announcement, a full-length video part, as and well as the battle commander. Yeah, it was definitely lined up. Woo! Yeah, um, for me, for a guy who consistently bitches about people not dropping footage when they go pro, uh, my yeah, mouth yeah, is fucking shut. Yeah, up this time, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> my mouth is shut. I don't hear what Dina's saying, nothing. Yeah, um, dude. I, all I have is positive remarks to make. That dude is good as fuck, man. Yeah, hey, but sure. I've been saying that shit. I said yeah. that he arguably has my favorite part from Plan B's true. He does have a really good part. Isn't yeah. that crook? Or Very is it kind of around that Astro was sick. Anyway, yeah, um, back insane. to the album real quick. Barney Page had an amazing video part. Um, in terms of my favorite, it was probably either Barney or Nick Garcia. Nick Ooh, has really savage. cool trick selection. Hey, I never know what he's going to do. He gets hey, crazy look at spots. Um, as for Ryan Sheckler, I know that's a big question out. He uh, shared yep. a video part with David Reyes. With who? David Reyes. Oh, David Reyes. Yeah. Uh, Wait, David Jamie, Reyes didn't have a full part. No, I'm in Sheckler's share report. Where the fuck is David Reyes' footage going? Uh, I'm not sure. I would assume that it would all be for this, so I don't really know. Yeah, was he that's what I thought he would for sure was he have a full part. I genuinely don't know. Yeah, I don't know I if he was there. I sound like an asshole, but I really don't know. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, I mean, do you want to know about El Toro, or should I let you and everyone else wait till they want? I think we should. I already know. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> Well, I'll stay quiet on that. Actually, yeah, just fucking say it, dude. Tease right, it El Toro is in for that. There's El Toro no, is El nowhere in the video. El Toro tray flip. There's no attempts. There's no back. Sheckler didn't come through the backside flip. Not that I don't think anyone really thought it would be in this, but it didn't happen. Um, but I, I'm still very confident that Chris Johnson will tray flip it, and we will see. I agree. Um, I'm not doubting that at all. I think that'll happen. Um I I heard a, a, a couple people talking at the premiere that he had over 20 minutes of footage to go through for this video. Are so you kidding me? That's what I heard. I, I, I didn't see the clips, but that's, wow. still, that's, a, that's how, what's being said. How do you do that? I don't know. He's a and monster. be able to skate when he um, skates. It's not like this guy's doing many yeah, rings. No, it's what, okay. Also, the Jawson part, um, it's pretty much what you'd expect. I think he's a well, well-rounded skateboarder. But when it comes to video parts, it's going to be a lot of hucking. And that's what it is. That's what um, I am here for. If 
I'm watching yeah, Chris yeah, Johnson play, right? I don't give a fuck about a tech line. <laughs> uh, he goes in. It's like same with Nigel, though. I don't care about a, a ledge line at all. Yeah, you want to see him? Yeah, I mean, play to your strengths. Play to your strengths. Yeah, later. especially for a guy like Chris Jocelyn, who's like, yeah, he, he came out the gate with the video part that's all ninety five percent stairs. So yeah, means thank you. Thank you. I don't know. I fuck with that dude heavy, man. I think a lot of people know that, especially people that listen to our show. I love Chris Jocelyn. Yeah. So that's that's he's that special. He's special I though. I think, I think he's different. Anymore. Yeah. Well, well, what's different about Chris Jocelyn? He's built different. I don't know, man. He's oh, just... you know what we should talk about real quick before we switch topics? Uh, Wallenberg. That is a notable oh, spot yeah. that he skated. That um, was a cool – we had a fun conversation earlier about top five tricks done at Wallenberg. Yeah, well, I kind of want to hear our... that. First of all, let me yeah, say what I Justin wanna, for... did. Um, yeah, I want to hear the viewers' top five at Wallenberg, though. Yeah. Well, let's real, 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 real quick run through kind of us chat about it, and then they'll let us know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it was Jocelyn in Eddie's – album best ghetto bird and inward heel um the inward heel photo was in thrasher like i would say two years ago or more i think it was uh it was my first over two years but i think my first episode of skate filet was when that photo like when drew first had me come on skate filet that photo was in thrasher so i remember texting him like yeah and then he's always should come talk on our show about it okay um (laughs) but yeah inward (laughs) inward heels are perfect ghetto birds are perfect um Mike, real, before we get into just the Wallenberg talk, what do you think is gnarlier? Ghetto Bird down Hollywood or Ghetto Bird Ghetto. down Wallenberg? Wallenberg. Wallenberg. Hang time. Well, hang time versus impact, right? Yeah, Wallenberg's exactly. Long, one's long, one's one's tall. Tall. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. For my personal tastes, I'd rather go high to low than a, like a long ways. Personal in terms of being the skateboarder or the viewer? Yes. Oh viewer. oh viewer! Oh viewer! Okay. Yeah, skateboarder. I'd viewer. I'd rather see Wallaberg. Skateboarder. I'd rather skate something drop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yeah, they're both so gnarly. I don't even know. But that, that like long lens angle of Wallaberg is so badass. I really like how the the fish eye. I think Spanish film for sure. I like the fish eye one too. That's fine. The VX fish eye and Shane's back kill is sick. I'm not mad at that angle. That angle was sick, other than the fact that it was blurry as fuck from VX. But it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was a dope angle. I prefer the Andrew Reynolds backside flip angle. Okay. That's fair. Um, well, let's – now we're, we're chatting about Wallenberg. Let's hear your top five. My top five? Yeah. Okay, what, what are we going to start with? Five? We'll start with five? Go to five. Five to one. What, Forrest Edwards switch flip? Okay. What was that uh, in? Number four. I fucking don't remember. I think it was just like this, like. Wait, didn't he switch flip? And someone got his back with switch backside flip. Yes. Who switch backside yes. flip? I can't remember who the switch backside flip Me is. Me neither. Anymore. At all, I really don't remember at all. I just remember that happened. That's horrible that we don't remember something as gnarly as a switch Dude, backside insane. flip down the Yeah, but uh, number four is got to be uh, Desenzo front three. Okay, first try. By the way, first try Desenzo front three. By the way, which is just. <laughs> Mm. Absolutely fucked. It's absurd. Uh, Reynolds backside flips got to be third spot, just yeah. because Shane's got to be number two, just because Jocelyn Gettleberg's got to be number one. Where's Where's Chris Cola? Oh, uh, he's hanging out. Honorable mentions. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's uh, fucked. <laughs> what about? I also think that one dude's Nolly uh, was really gnarly. <laughs> like, oh dude, how fast God. are you going? How fast are you going? Yeah, he took that Roland Thrasher makes and just put another one on top of it. <laughs> he brought the mega That's ramp. Real fucked up, man. Yeah, That's, That's insane. insane. I'll service uh, try about you. That's not right. Uh, me. Oh no. I'll go shoot. Oh, TJ Rogers honorable mention for me switch as well. Front, front switch from oh, switch from big. Yeah, switch from big. Yeah. Um. No, you listed the main ones. I'll just go with that. I know it's lame, but <laughs> I don't know how to rear. Like I don't know. Yeah, I'd probably say They're Ghetto Bird. Somehow. Ghetto Bird is probably. I would still put that at number one, and that just mainly That's because insane. like I just that trick down something has to be so hard to roll away from. I agree. That I, agree. I just can't so even. Like, I can time see, to be backwards. I can, like, yeah, and I can see like 
I mean, I know that's like Jocelyn's one of his main tricks, but that's just that's so fine, hard. That's so hard to roll away from yeah. that. Like I could see sticks Agreed. for days, but rolling away from that's insane. Um, Dude, to be Shane's in the air for Q. that I'm long. Shane's not back you at two. Is that what you said too? No, I'm just matching. Yeah, I love that. That's because that's. I mean, Zach how Wallen, do you not have Zach those Wallen, one and two? Zach Wallen, Nolly back Nolly eighty. I'll put it at like four. Ooh. I'll put it two Dude, behind style. Shane. Yeah, because it was so sick. It was so. Silly. He did it so badass. Um, that dude's a bad motherfucker in general. I'll put Chris jo- or sorry, Chris Cole's trade flip at three. Amazing. Because he worked for it, and that's tight. Amazing. Uh, and he five, just did it like a badass. Five, I'll go Reynolds backside flip just because it's OG. Slant switch. Yeah, landing switch on his book. Yeah, so that's my list. Some of them are the same. Landing thing, switch. Like, Imagine trying to land switch on that fucking I'd, thing. I'd rather just not. Uh, landing switch at the Wallenberg. Ishad, Ishad in his nightclub said he tried to front heal it. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. Can we talk about Ishad's nine club, dude? I was laughing out loud dude. so much. <laughs> What's when the shrimp? about breaking boards? What's Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, this word shrimp is hilarious. We have triple digits or what? <laughs> like, dude, we have shrimp. to start using the word shrimp. And dry. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, dude. All I'm saying is that like the part with him breaking boards where he's like, just feels so good. Like, dude, I couldn't I was fucking so stop funny. laughing. I was so straight off. You, like you walked. I'm to at his my desk at work. And broke yeah, five and broke all the other boards. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I was at work, like literally laughing out loud. And head. then Chris is so like, funny. "Oh, that's so you to set up five boards." And no, I just don't have those oh, setups anymore. I was fucking dying about that broken board thing just completely dying and then like the whole like uh having steezes <laughs> never oh, met him before hey, can you, so hey, come over here bro. hey come over here <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's so funny i could see that being like like you know what i mean if you don't know somebody they'll tell you to come over here you'd be like uh yeah, yeah i'll be right on. over bro like yeah hey. um that's so craziest funny. thing i don't know he had a we've heard some of this before of the whole you know, kind of he skated Tampa and then stuff with Deluxe and Nike and Four Star all came together. But it was crazy to hear really how fast it happened. Of like, yeah. he started getting hooked up at sixteen, and he yeah. had money to move out by eighteen, by eighteen, live on his own. And really, well, it's it not happen. just he, he was only getting one sponsor there. At uh, what time when he moved out? He said, "Yeah, he said he was only getting he only had one sponsor then. It was Nike." Well, what paying him? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's what it was. That's but like insane. getting hooked up Nike with money, kids. four star and Nike all at once. Nike money, like kids. Around the month. Yeah, and then the Nike. Get starts. on Nike at sixteen, you'll be all right by eighteen. <laughs> no jobs. Well, he, he, yeah, he, he made it happen, dude. I mean, it's, rightfully so. It's not like he's not like an extremely it's the, the best skilled individual. Alive. Right, dude. Yeah. I, I mean, love like, every yeah, second of that show, dude. When he said, "I don't know if you guys know, but skateboarding has a little bit to do with balance." <laughs> fucking dying, dude. <laughs> fucking dying. Hilarious. Dude, that's a funny dude, guy, man. It was man. so good. I love when they're talking about the injuries, and Chris is like, oh, so you're good right now? And he's like, well, other than getting regularly body. <laughs> 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 and obviously, my excitement levels were through the roof when he's talking about this new footage he's sitting that he's working on. Nike Park. Oh, God. Footage for real. Oh, God. I cannot wait. Dude, I can't this, wait. If we thought that last year's Sony list is, was fucked up, yeah, here we go I again. think that this year's is going to be here even more fucked up, again. and I genuinely mean that. Yeah, we're going to – Especially I mean, if at the end of the year, fucking Ishad Ware and Grant Taylor happen to be on the list. Yeah, they're Where do you put be. them? Where the fuck do you put them? Those are like the undeniable. I just think Ishad needs his own award. I, I, I mean, like right. give him give him Sodi for a second time, but then <laughs> and then he's just yeah, need his own award. That's what one of my homies said. They're like, dude, Ishad hasn't stopped skating the last five years. He's Sodi the last five years. I was like, yeah. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't have been bummed at all. He's just Sodi every year. He's the best skateboarder. <laughs> give him Louis Lopez, and you can tell he doesn't stop others. skating. Him and Louis, that's they the, just that's the thing award. about Ishad. Louis is the same the way. They don't thing. stop. Yeah, every time there's Jamie, a contest, they don't stop. Every time there's yeah. a contest, a weekend at Tampa, every person's like, shot from skating the whole time. Everyone says it. Yeah. And it's so sick. Yeah. They say that about Louis, though, too. Yeah. They're out there the whole time skating, killing it. It's That's why they're better than everyone. Let's be honest and, here. And Ishad, uh, and I'm excited to Colorways. Congrats to him. I can't wait to see 
I mean, we've seen one of them. You're going to cop probably now, right? You're a Nike guy. Yeah, dude, I'm for sure trying to get some shots. I'm probably going to chill on them now. I'm not skating so I have the shots. Yeah, no, I'm chilling, dude. Let them beat some chillers. Nice white chillers, dude. Those are yeah, white yeah. shoes. Are I'm not saying a shot on them. Uh, hashtag, hashtag white shoes are better. Yo, I think white shoes are really good in footage, too. They're the best in general. This they just look good. better on people's feet. Yeah, I haven't seen you. He was talking about the dunk yet. I haven't seen that. Hey, before. I'm skating fucking Lucas's, bro. I Lucas. like it. Cup sole. <laughs> That's First what Sebo's been skating. Fucking, God knows how long, man. But yeah, you know the fact that I that I wore them for like a month first, I think really allowed me to skate in them. I like wearing shoes for a little bit before skating, but not too much. Because in the I wasn't. I didn't. I honestly had intended on skating these shoes at all. I was just gonna have them as chillers. But I wanted to. to yeah, sometimes that happens, huh? You'll be looking down at shoes and you're like, "These are so fresh," and then you'll be like, "Ain't gonna skate them though." <laughs> no, so yeah. Well, well, not even though, because these were cups and I'm kind of like bent on this Volk for God knows how long, you know. But yeah. I like went to the park the other day on accident with them on, and I just just forgot to change my shoes type shit. And we started skating them. And I was just like, all right, fuck it. We're skating them now. Here we are. <laughs> That's tight. I haven't really noticed a difference other than, like, there's a few things I noticed a difference on. Yeah. Heel flip tricks, I definitely noticed that my, my toes don't, like, get the, the grab action that I do with the folks. So. Maybe you'll get super tech sense. like Lucas. Shit. Lucas can do it all. What does he do? Tray flip, tray flip front side nose slide? <laughs> I don't know. He does everything. Hey, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy. Uh, did you watch the Converse and Gray video, Pastel? Yeah, it was – dude, okay, that was another thing. Um, These dudes are dropping an edit right before they drop a full length? Yeah, it's gnarly, yeah. It's gnarly. But Bobby D is, in this... is non – like none of that shit's throwaway. Yo, no, for sure. You're probably just sitting on all kinds of – like, I would assume – Fuck but but to, just to be realistic, I would assume out of the dudes in that video, the only I bet Bobby's the only one that's gonna have a full part in purple. They're full length, probably. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy that he's dropping these this type of footage <laughs> when their their video drops next month. But I guess he just has yeah. that uh, when he backside flips Bobby that buff over more and then just drop the switch mani across the street. It is beyond sick. I don't know how yeah, Ender he does a fakey five zero full cab. And his foot lands, and it's like it's like parallel with the skateboard <laughs> when he rolls away. His foot is straight. <laughs> what? It's Dude, so tight. He's one of the most enjoyable skateboarders for me to watch nowadays. Yeah, it's like that. That shit is like timeless skating to me. Like it just that there's is, nothing that I'm, looks whack yeah. ever. I love skateboarding. Like dudes that flip their boards like that, where it's so pop, like and caught so good. Like him, Brad Cromer. Yes. John Dillo skates like Magnus. That. Magnus has it. Dude, uh, they, Magnus they, has they, that so stupid amazing. pop. It's so amazing. I've been watching his shit a lot lately, actually. I've been hyped. I should watch it more. Magnus That's a good dude. Thing. Don't sleep on Magnus. Magnus <laughs> is that dude. Hey, Harry, bro, you don't too. just like, bro. You don't just like get on numbers and you're just like okay. Oh no, that's a. Pretty <laughs> you know what team. I mean? Like you're a it's elite pretty elite skateboard. team at the moment. Yeah. Um, Harry Lintzel and Pastel, dude. That back he's nose grab out and then back tail two yeah, seven. He's a badass. He is so sick. And then he starts killing yeah. the training in there. And he has a part dropping real soon too. I think in two weeks, free skate mag part real. Can't wait for that. Wait, There's just a lot of good skateboarding coming out right now. Harry's the yeah, man. Two different. Harry goes in all the skateboard edits. Like he just goes in. What was that? Who else is supposed to drop a full like this year? I can't remember. Uh, Element, I think. I was right? gonna say we've already seen this is gonna be the second shoe brand full length. Yeah, there's cons and there's Element. Good. And at Nice. Uh, yeah, Nice just dropped it. Or yeah, I guess it comes out in like this month. Yeah. I wonder if anyone else would do anything. I don't know. The Converse one's gonna be incredible. That's a pretty that's gonna be the big video of the year. Yeah, I think it will be. Element video is gonna be insane too, though. Oh yeah, what am I talking Their about? That's gonna be the big gnarly. video of the year. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. 
mean, yeah, that's just gonna be everyone has their own taste, but the lineup. Was it Flip people. filming for a video too? Um, I doubt sure. it'll be this year, but I'm pretty sure that they. I saw, I saw somewhere I that they were. I don't know, but if they do, Lopez, that's gonna be a fucked up video, dude. Their team is insanely good. Their team stacked. Stacked as fuck. <laughs> Let's talk about Miles Silvis real quick, Mike. All right. Let's I know do me and you it. both noticed something a little funny yesterday. So yesterday, Miles Silvis. A lot Silvis, of people noticed this. Was there a lot of comments about it? I got DM'd on DM. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Well, yeah. let's yesterday, Miles yeah. Silvis was officially welcomed at Stan Sox, which sick. And they put out some footage for it. And uh, it's pretty funny because, uh, okay, before Miles was put on numbers, that whole in between period, he was skating a lot of crooked boards, some real boards, mm -hmm. uh, some uh, PLA boards here and there. I see him with habitat boards. Which a he does times. skate for Thunder, so there's the connection. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, the PLA shot boards, and he had habitat boards a little bit because I know he was on official at the time, or I don't know if you know if he still is. But he was on official, and they were connected with habitat, whatever. Um, and then, randomly, like, Four months in or so to numbers, I remember he posted a video and had a crooked board again. I was like, that's really weird, whatever. Also had a crooked at Chicago Street League, and that was in – I forgot what month, actually. Um, and then October? yesterday, he gets welcome to stance, and then footage, and he has a numbers hat on, and I'm not at all hinting that I think he's leaving numbers. I really don't think he is. No, but he had a real so, board in that video again. Well, it's just so random. Like, what's up with this? He's like in an ad. They show his you board. You think – yeah, that whole footage Dude, you think that, that board. Right. Okay, which which means that clearly he likes the deluxe shape, which is like okay, whatever. That's not unheard of that you like the shape and that you, you want to keep riding, okay? You would think that numbers would have just fucking recreated this shape by now. Yeah, I really got absolutely no idea what the deal is, but like when I see I that, I was like, how are they like this brand like they this brand's been out for this much time? He she's like the main dude. Yeah, like that's the dude they need to push. And like, why is it that like there's even been like this many times after they've launched that we see him skating other boards? It's just weird. I have. No, it's not even other boards. It's usually just like the same brand, like the same like distribution. Yeah, yeah. Like that's kind of fucking funny, dude. All I keep thinking to myself is like, why wouldn't they have just created this the shape already? There's like just no reason for it, in my opinion. I don't know. Like, dude, what, you've given this size? guy multiple. Additions. What, what, what boards does he skate? Eight two five boards. I genuinely don't know. I know they sell his board, his numbers of boards, and the size of. I want to say he skates at like an eight three. I, I think it's either eight two five or eight three. I think he says it in that uh that push. It is nine club club. for some reason. Uh, yeah, club, I think it, I think it is. Yeah, he skates eight three eight. Okay. And I let's see, is that the board that he was skating eight three eight two? I know real makes that size for sure. Uh, at least it says they sell it. This one is a two five. The right half board there. the half board is a two five. The one that he had, I think. We unless they make it as two. We got those. We got the the uh, Zion and the half one at Fargo, and they sold like that day. Dude, the half one. Yeah, they're both sick. The different shades, like Huff's is blue, and then one Zion's. I'm pretty sure this the same person bought this bought them both so they could have them next to each other. That's sick. That looked tight on the wall. I agree. I mean um, that whoever did that, that artist fucking nailed it. Show, always do. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, yeah, ETN. Right. Usually. ETN. Did oh you, my did god! You see this Is anyone showing you the, the footage? front side heel flip? Switch front side heel flip. TJ Rogers. Front side heel flip. Heath Kirchar gap. If you're not familiar, Heath Kirchar. Dude, Packs of flip. what the fuck? Canada Paul Hart flip. is like slowly becoming like my favorite skateboarder. Yo, Paul Hart. He didn't ollie it. It was a he just, bad like, motherfucker. They're warming up, and, and he just Benny Hanna did it. Like, second, I think second. He is such like, a bad motherfucker. Jealous. And then he back heels it quick. Like, he didn't He didn't have to work too hard. Man, strike this dude up. I'm trying um, to see him in edits with these other guys. He got towed in by Eric Bragg. Um, eventually, they, they only Leticia was towing him in on the motorcycle, which is pretty sick. Uh, TJ battled for switch front, switch front three for a while. It's Basically, his go-to trick it it didn't work out. So much shit. Close. close. Then switched it up to switch front heel. Switch front heel to absolutely perfect. It was like one of those switch front heels where it kind of like it like flicked and it flips forward. Like it was insane. And then 
the dude that worked so the hardest got bodied the most and got his trick. His, Jordan Hoffart. His injuries. Jordan Hoffart tried this mind. laser flip. Dude, Jordan and TJ skated it for about two and a half hours. In my his toe in for God, God, fucking crap. It wasn't like one fall wasn't devastating. Dude, you can tell the ground is straight crust there. Oh my and god! They land, dude. roll, 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 roll. Like it looks. Jordan so bad. Hoffart is a. Jordan animal. was actually. This was the same day that they had, that I went to the Oceanside Eddie's premiere, and it's at Black Plague, which is Jordan's thing. And uh, he showed up during the video, and I seen him walking like he was super hobbling. Like did <laughs> like he looked like he had a gnarly. I want to go there, dude. Are you down to go there when I'm out there? What the gap? No, Black Plague. Oh yeah, I mean I don't. I don't know if I'm allowed to go on normal nights. I don't know how. It oh is. yeah, Holy the shit, thing the other night was all ages. Boy. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> you were a baby boy. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah give right. me like a year and a half, and then we can go. That's cool. I'll just go there without you. <laughs> no, but I don't know because the thing the other night was all ages. So who knows? Anyway, no, but I do. Now that I mentioned this, as well, I do want to see the Kirchard gap in person because it looks beyond big. It looks absolutely massive. Jordan Hoffer at laser flipped it. Chris Cole and Tori were commentating, which is pretty cool. Oh, um, Chris Cole they, is so good at commentating. Dude. They both said that they've skated it, tried to try to get a trip on it in the past. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm pretty hyped. That was tight. Wait, so you saw all the footage? Yeah, Jordan Hoffer is a badass man. Dude, his leg flip was crazy. Like he landed on it, and you could tell it was one of those like moments where you land on your trick, and you're like, okay, like. It's it's not like a land and you you clinched it. It's like you land on your board and you're like okay, don't fall. Like you you, you just like power through the crust and just like hit the fence. Dude, whatever. I feel like that you know, was just it. like such a not unnecessary because we've all been there and we've all dealt with the shit and obviously having cameras there and all that other stuff adds you know some adrenaline factor. Yeah. But like he took the biggest beating ever, dude. He really did. Like, but he got his trick. That had to feel about that guy. Yeah, that had to have been like the most insane thing to roll away from. Well, let's thing. talk about this. It, uh, ETN, from a viewer's perspective, it's so sick to be able to watch those dudes like put in all that and get the trick. But if you're a pro skateboarder, these face melters are pretty no, much sure. like enders. You know, like these dudes are going out and doing enders for this live ETN show. Um, like from the perspective of being a dude, like being TJ switch front healing it, or being Jordan laser flipping it, if you were that skateboarder, like, would you want to do that? I don't know, man. That's a good point. You know what I mean? Because it's like it's literally like that could be their ender. That could, yeah. I was gonna say like the fact that you're taking that away from a potential video project is it's kind of crazy, huh? Yeah. As a viewer, I love it. I'm just thinking from their perspective, like, shoot, like, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they're high. At the same they get time, the though, it is like, it is like this special thing, though, you know. It does get highlighted cool, but another thing is it doesn't, usually, like, they'll post them, like, Diego's kickflip ended up all over Instagram at some point, but, like, yeah. ETN and, like, the dude that gets the trick kind of, like, keeps the trick quiet for a little bit, obviously, to go get people to sign up for the app and watch it. But then eventually, like, they'll post it or whatever, but it's kind of, like, they do this crazy thing, and I'm sure regardless, like, they get their trick. That's the feeling that matters. But, like, yeah. not everyone really gets to see it, which is interesting. Yeah, um, but that's the whole thing of ETN. Yeah. That's it the is. allure, right? They have this this series right now, ATV, which is amazing. Two yeah. dudes go head to get head-to-head -head game of skate. It's like, best three out of five. They choose the section. It's so sick. They completely nailed it with that. Cater's episode is straight. That's why Four Wheels Live to come back, dude. Dude, it needs to. That is the fun. I should go rewatch. That rewatch is so it. funny. It's so funny. Tori. Mm, the so sickest funny. thing is Bragg just tosses in these funny little jokes, like, as they start to walk up. Like, I like Tori. I think he had to skate with the fog machine on. <laughs> He's like, well, Tori's used to smoke being around him in the air. It's just, like, funny little stuff like that that'll toss in. It's so funny. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> Bragg's a man. Yeah, he is the man. I agree. Yeah, well. That's it. That's it. That's, that's, all. that's all we got for you. That's it. Short list, but that's heavy week in terms of footage and some news. Yeah. yeah. But if you already watched Spinning Away, you should go watch it again. If you yeah. haven't watched it, you're tripping. 
Same yep. thing with Pastel. That video is amazing. Yeah. Fans' video is way better. I mean, we're kind of comparing two different things, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, that Vans thing's like a huge project. And we're comparing yeah, like I know. That was sick. Minute. <laughs> Four dudes. Hey, but they both killed it. Anyway, um, let us know. <laughs> Wallenberg. What, what tricks do you forget to mention? Top five. What are you guys psyched on Wallenberg? Because there's some gnarly stuff that's gone down. And I hope yeah, one day, sure. I hope one day we're gonna see a shot front heel. Or Miles go back for that switch wow. back heel. Wow. Wow. What if he does? Yeah. All right, we'll be back next week at 149. And the week after we'll be at 150. <laughs> Peace.